Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. Welcome to the recap for the New England Patriots 2018 draft. Um, let's just get right to it. First pick, they picked 23 overall. It was Isaiah Wynn. Uh, he's an offensive tackle slash guard. Very versatile guy, apparently. Um, I was worried they were going to waste it on Lamar Jackson because I thought, I thought for sure they were going to pick the quarterback, but luckily they didn't. Apologies if you hear scratching. The cat is currently yeah, chasing her tail. I guess it was between Wynn and, um, oh, who's the other guy? Rashad Evans? I don't know. The linebacker. So they chose the tackle, which is the right decision. They need to replace Solder. So um, he seems like a solid player. So I know they were looking for a center as well, but unfortunately the center they were looking at got taken So by the... Somebody else. Somebody else, I forget, but... Whatever, he gets out of his stance quickly, so that's good for a tackle, and he can play guard as well, so they have a lot of options now. Uh, let's see, second pick, still in the first round, Sonny Michael, uh, running back out of Georgia. I'm surprised they picked a running back over, I thought they would pick like a corner or something, but um, seems like a Deion Lewis kind of guy. Uh, injury prone, so that's not good. <laughs> But uh, I guess he has knee issues, but uh, he has a dual threat, can catch, can run, so we'll that's see. what they like. Um, but I'd be surprised if he was starting over Jeremy Hill that they picked up, so, but what else? And then after Solid. the first round pick. was all of the trade yeah, they mess. Traded. They, they traded picks left, right. I could not keep up with it when yeah, I was they, following They it. set up for 2019. They, they they like to load up on picks. That's what the Patriots do. I could not keep up with the amount of trades they did on but, Friday and Saturday. It was just madness. Round two, 56 overall. They picked Duke Dawson, cornerback. He's a slot corner with some safety experience, apparently. So Patriots love versatile guys. Solid pick. Definitely fills their corner need. They need a slot corner because right now it's Eric Rowe, and he's trash. So... If he's better than Eric Rowe, you know that'll that'll be helpful because um, right now they have they have um, uh, Jason McCourty. Jason McCourty is their number two corner. He's solid, and they have Gilmore as their number one, who's also solid. So definitely needed a third corner. So solid pick. Then they picked the first of two linebackers in round five. I guess they traded away most of their three. They're all their third and fourth round picks. They did for next year, yeah. So that's what they did. They also traded for a right tackle. Um, from the 49ers. I forget I, I forget Trent, who the Trent for. something? Trent. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um so, you know, they have to replace Cameron Fleming, so that's a that's a smart move. But they have they have a lot of options on the line now, so I don't know who will be starting outside of David Andrews. He's pretty much the only guy set in stone at this point. And Marcus Cannon, I guess. Yeah. yeah everybody else. Everybody else leave. who knows what they're gonna do. Um, but yeah, they picked uh, Jawan Bentley, linebacker. Um, he's the, I think he's the more versatile linebacker. No, he's the, uh, he's the power linebacker. So they picked two linebackers. Uh, one's a power linebacker. He's slow apparently, but he said he ran a 4.6 on his own, whatever that means. <laughs> 4.64 outside the combine, but in the combine he, he was terrible, so... Yeah, but the combine is the combine. I mean, look at well, how bad Brady was. I, yeah, well, that's because Brady was the worst quarterback ever. In, he may have been the worst player ever in the combine. I mean, it's crazy. Some guys don't do well in it. but So he could be useful uh, for his um, uh, run-stopping ability since he's a strong hitter. So we'll see. But they double-dipped at the position because their next pick in round six, 178. Uh, Christian Sam, a linebacker. He's the more versatile linebacker. Um, so I guess they're picking two because it's, those are later round picks, so that's riskier. So they picked two because they need they need line they need a lot they need at least one solid linebacker. So hopefully one of those guys will be solid. If they're both solid, great. And if if just one is solid, that's fine as well. So uh, that's what they want. Um, he's uh. He's faster, more versatile, good in pass coverage, or at least decent in pass coverage, apparently. So um, we'll see where he fits in. Uh, then they picked uh, round six, 210 overall, Braxton Berrios. He's basically our Amendola now, so <laughs> he's, uh, 
he's a slot receiver. Uh, solid pick. Uh, the Patriots have a real good knack of picking slot receivers. Uh, picking <laughs> number one receivers, they have a terrible time doing. But picking slot receivers, they've had quite a bit of success with that. Um, I would say. You know, Edelman, for example, has been a fantastic player. But, but um, you know, lost Amendola, which sucks. But whatever. He's also a good punt returner, so. It'll help. They needed that because who knows what Cyrus Jones will do. If he's even If he's be. even healthy. If he can even, if he doesn't go back to just staring at balls as they touch his foot. Like the jackass that he was a couple of years ago. Yeah, he was bad. Yeah, he was bad. He literally had a ball hit him in the foot, and he's just looking Look at, at it, it like, oh, maybe I should go get the ball. No, really? Man. But he was good in preseason, then he blew his knee out, of course. But uh, Berrios, he fits their mold of a slot receiver, so they needed one. Hopefully he makes the team. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're left with just Edelman, and that's problematic because who knows how healthy he's going to be. Then they picked the quarterback in round seven, which was a solid decision because the quarterback quality was not great outside of a few starting caliber, uh, starting caliber quarterbacks. The rest were all like backups, basically. So, I mean, maybe if they had picked Lamar Jackson early, but they might have picked him 31 if he was still there, but I think he was taken at number 30. I think the Ravens picked him. So, he was picked... Shortly after they picked, I didn't first stay pick. up that late to watch it. But, but uh, I'm happy with this. So he's a he's a apparently a very protected with the football quarterback. So they can work with that. He's only I guess he only threw two picks in his senior year. So that's solid. Will he even make the team? I don't know. They usually only keep two quarterbacks and. Well, they kept three last year. They did, well, but that was an exception. I mean, and then they traded both of them anyway. And they kept them both the year before. But that was because they had that weird thing with Brady's suspension, so. Brady got suspended, then Jimmy got hurt, so, so it was like. And they had no choice. I mean, they had Edelman listed as a quarterback for, for He was the emergency for one when, game. Um, I mean. When What's-His-Face was. Because Brissett hurt his thumb. Yeah, when Brissett was injured, Edelman was the backup, technically. They probably should have just started Edelman that game, but. I would have loved to have watched that. But whatever. Um, so, who knows? I mean, it depends on how well he does in camp and preseason, whether they keep a third quarterback or not. Yeah. Um, I would guess over the next couple of years, you're going to see them pick a quarterback high when they don't have so many team needs. Then they'll probably pick a quarterback high, but who knows? Then again, the Patriots, I mean, Brady was a six-round pick. He's one of the best quarterbacks ever, so who knows? So who knows if this kid will even be good or not? Who knows? Um, Keon Crossan, they picked another corner. I guess he can, I guess he ran a 4.32, which is pretty insanely fast, by the way. So, not really much else to note about him other than he's super fast. A lot of teams do that late where they pick a guy that has like one good quality and then hope that you can develop him. But who knows? He probably won't make the team. So The Patriots could pick somebody up who works at Walmart and turn them into a good player. They so could, I mean, but I don't. I, if he, if he, if he's a solid number four, but I don't know. I, I really want Roe off the damn team. I, I can't stand that They can guy. just throw him off a tower. We don't really care. He's, got he's awful, that bad. And he's bad. Then the last pick was Ryan Izzo, uh, tight end. No, he's not the next Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> he's uh, basically Dwayne Allen 2.0, which is uh, whatever. When you pick a tight end in the seventh round, they're not going to be good usually. So um, my guess is he'll be on the practice squad. I, I don't see him making the team because you've already got Dwayne Allen. But Allen, I think, is going to be gone after this after this next season. And the other Hollister, who isn't awful. Mm, he's okay. Hollister's okay, but Izzo's more of a blocking tight end that can – Kind of catch, but... Take Dwayne Allen's job, basically. Well, when Allen's gone, but Allen's a solid blocker, so... I mean... We'll see. He, he just is not a great receiver, unless you're the Colts, where magically... But that was more so because the Colts had no solid tight end, so they had to use him in that role. Yeah. So that's their whole draft. Um, um, solid overall. They set themselves up for 2019. They loaded up on picks again, so... Um, Really, the season is going to come down to whether Brady falls off the proverbial cliff or not, which, like they say, alert, he does every year. He's not going to. 
I, I would be surprised if he did. I, I, his play hasn't deteriorated at all. I mean, and uh, I don't think he's going to want to retire without a six ring. So probably not. He wants that Michael Michael Jordan ring. So could have had it last year. But he should have had it last year. I mean, he was he was the best player on the field. The, he outplayed literally everyone else on that team on both teams. But you know, but you know. When Belichick makes a boneheaded decision, he can't do that anymore. By the way, he has to run all decisions by. Um, oh God, I'm blanking. Josh, Josh McDaniels. Yeah, um, McDaniels has um, personnel control now. Thank God, <laughs> because I, I, from what I know, from what I've read, McDa McDaniels was against benching Butler. Well, I'm, everybody probably was against. No, it. not everybody. Not 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 the special teams. Uh, what about Patricia? Patricia was in favor of it. Well, that's why he's gone. Which so. is also why, probably why he's gone. Um, You're going to kick their ass in September. And um, they also have um, Belichick's, I think, son is one of the coaches. So he was well, in favor I don't know. Of who, who's our defensive coordinator? Do we know yet? Do we have one? I don't know. I don't think they've picked. Have they picked one? I don't uh, know. I think somebody was just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not overly concerned with that. It's it's the offensive coordinator I care more about because I, well, I you don't you don't want Brady. Well, Josh is obviously still there. You don't want Brady going through a new system at, at forty one years old. Yeah, McDaniel's will probably become the next head coach. He is. He's, yeah, that, that's a given. This is Belichick's last year, barring a miracle. Kraft is not happy with him. I'm not happy with him. <laughs> Nobody. I'm not is. happy with him either. But I mean, whatever. I mean, they're not gonna they're not gonna fire him. You can't fire him. No. I mean, he's he's. He's going down as the greatest coach of all time. When he can do fire him, he, he, he'd probably have riots in the streets of Boston. So, I mean. Probably. So, it is what it is. But, whatever. So, we'll see uh, how many of these guys make the team. Um, it's going to be a while, obviously. Probably, probably just probably the tackle and the running back for sure. And then um, the cornerback as well, I'm assuming. And then the rest, I don't know. So we'll I don't see. either. The first corner they took. When will we know after the after preseason? Really, is when they usually announce the full depth chart. After that, maybe we'll game. get lucky and we'll go to um, the camp. The camp over, and we went this past year. Maybe we'll go this year again. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we'll get we'll get lucky. Who knows? But whatever. That's good for now. Um, so when the I don't think we're gonna cover the preseason. <laughs> preseason is really boring. Yes. So. If, if something major happens, like an injury or something, we might talk about it. But other than that, we'll, we'll see it when the when the season starts or if, if, if some personnel change happens or something. Yeah. But other than that, we'll leave it here. This is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching, and um, hopefully we can not lose the last game this time. Take care.